Lynn, welcome. How does it feel to be the head of women's football at Lewis FC? Thank you. I, it's always been the greatest honour to be part of this club. It's it's really special to me. So I, I'm really excited to be able to carry on um, my journey at this club. And what was it about this opportunity that made you want to move into the position? Um, I think this club is it's so close to my heart that when this opportunity came up, I felt that this is where I really wanted to be. I've been here for a number of years now, so um, it feels like maybe it's a, where I where I need to be and, and perhaps for, for the club in terms of continuity and, and just hoping that I can bring that. Maybe it's it's just the right place. And coming off a challenge in 23-24 season, how's that been for you and the club as a whole? It's been really challenging. I, relegation has meant that we've had to restructure um, and that's been quite difficult we're, we're moving from daytime training that we had last season to more of a part-time model this year in the, in the evening and that does mean that some of the players and staff aren't able to come with us it's not viable for them and so I think it's been incredibly difficult for people we've we've undergone a consultation process and that's been difficult for people not knowing where they would be this season I just wanted to say thank you to the staff for how professional they've been through that process and um, for the ones that aren't with us this year to thank them for everything that they've done last season and in previous seasons. And looking more to the future now, what's the vision for women's football at Lewis? I think where we find ourselves at the moment, uh, we have to be able to regroup a bit um, and then rebuild in the next two or three seasons um, with a view to perhaps going back into the championship at, at that time. And uh, I know there's a lot of work kind of going on in the background. How are we shaping up for pre-season? Yeah, good. There's a lot of conversations. It's never easy at this time of the year. And I think with our um, pre-season coming three weeks uh, earlier than it would have done if we'd stayed in the championship, everything's a, a little bit um, tighter than it might be normally. But there's a lot of conversations going on. I hope we're going to bring some exciting players in. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do in Tier 3. And you just touched upon now, obviously we're transitioning into the Women's National League. What's the goal for next year? What should we expect? I think we need to be very respectful of this league. I think it's it's going to be tough. I think we'll probably all remember last season we, we went out of the FA Cup to a very good Ipswich side. And I think if that's the level of the competition here, I think we should be able to compete. But I think we should probably remove any expectation that we'll just bounce straight back up into the championship. I think there's a lot of teams here that will be capable of, of mounting a challenge and obviously with two teams coming down Watford and ourselves and one promotion spot I think it would be um, a bit much to assume that we would be the team that would be a straight back up so I think we just need to to find our level in, in tier three but I think we'll really compete here. And then just to wrap up, any final messages for the Lewis FC faithful? Yeah, I think when we talk to players about coming to Lewis, if they haven't experienced it before, we always talk about how great match days at the Dripping Pan are. And I think I would just ask the fans to continue to support us and continue to come out in numbers because when it's full and noisy in here, there's nowhere else quite like it. Thanks, Lynn. Great to have you with us. Thanks, Ryan.